Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'll be doing a video of me doing a full face of collab makeup. Um, a lot of you have seen me use this makeup already or talk about it already. So if you guys do not know, collab is exclusive to only Sally um, Beauty. There are over 200 products that they have launched currently. Um, all of these products are available in the US and Canada if you guys are interested and as well as they are cruelty free. I know a lot of you um, are like you guys want to know if they're cruelty free or you guys are into that so yes it is cruelty free all right so before i get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel um give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it don't forget to follow collab and sally's channels down below as well as all the other influencers um and if you do want to know more information about this company and how i'm a part of it i will have the video of me like announcing it down below um so make sure to follow all the other influencers sally's and collab all right so the first product i'm going to start with is the Fundamental Hydrating Primer by Collab. Um, this is just a nice hydrating primer um, that you can use all over your face. I do have dry skin, I'm sure a lot of you do know that. So, hydrating your skin is very important. It makes your makeup just look a lot better. It doesn't make it look so cakey and dry. So I'm just gonna put this all over uh, my face. All right, so that's down. It's feeling kind of tacky, which is actually really good for a primer. Um, because that will help the foundation and all the products stick to my skin. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. Um, and I am in the shade Beige, which is 04. Um, this foundation does come with a pump, which um, we can appreciate, right? Yes, we love pumps. Um, so I'm just going to put some on my hand and then use a brush to apply it. I absolutely do love this foundation because it is hydrating. And like I said before, I am a little bit dry. So whenever things are hydrating on my skin, it just looks like... It's like actually my skin, it looks nice and healthy. I do love how the finish of it, as you can see, it's very glowy and very luminous and it looks very natural. This is the um, No Flaws Liquid Concealer and I'm in the shade Porcelain. So I'm just going to put this under my eyes and all over the T-zone to kind of help highlight and conceal. All right, so now I'm going to set the face. I'm going to use this powder by Collab. This is the Kill the Shine, um, and this is in the shade Porcelain. And I'm gonna use a really fluffy brush because I don't wanna pack too much powder on my face. Um, so I'm just gonna use something that's very fluffy and that's gonna lightly apply it. All right, so next to contour and bronze, I'm gonna use this little palette. This is a uh, bronzer called Sun Obsession. Sculpting bronzer, and this is the shade Major. I'm just gonna use this to hit the perimeters of the face and a little bit on the cheekbones. All right, so next is blush, and this is the Soft Spot Sheer Blush. This is in the shade Just For Fun. And I'm just gonna softly tap into the pan and also tap it off because I don't want to put too much on here. It is a sheer formula, um, so it is nice so you can really build up the color and not be so intense. Um, so I'm just going to pop this on the cheeks. And I like to use a soft, um, some, or a soft natural brush, a soft natural hair brush for blush um, so that it does apply it super soft and um, natural. All right, next is probably my favorite uh, products from the line. This is the Filter Highlighting Powder, and this is in the shade Uncensored. I'm absolutely obsessed with the formula of this because it is so... The, the way it sits on the skin is so nice. It's not glittery. It looks literally just like a glow from your skin. You can also build this up to make it very bright and blinding, or you can make this very soft and sheer. Um, but, you know, I'm going to go extra and put a lot on, so... Also, this blends out so nice. Like sometimes when you put um, highlighters on, they just kind of like stick to your skin as like a harsh line. But these blend out so freaking nicely. All right, now we are glowing. I absolutely love this highlighter so freaking much. Um, so now that the foundation and the skin and everything is done, the complexion is finished. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the eyebrows. For the eyebrows, I'm gonna use the Shape and Shade Ultra Fine Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Ash Brown. This is a pencil. Um, I did bend this spoolie just because I like to have 
the spoolie bent for when I brush through the hairs. And I really like this pencil because this gives you like a nice, a nice? <laughs> this gives you a nice, um, soft like application, I guess. It's not so harsh and intense, it's a lot more natural. Um, I do love to use this pencil um, for the beginning of my eyebrow because it doesn't create such a harsh line. It almost gives it like a powder effect. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I just zoomed your eyes. Uh, I just zoomed you guys in a bit so you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to use the concealer that I used before on my face. I'm just going to use that to prime my eyelids and create a base for the eyeshadow so that everything's more pigmented and it's a lot more even. All right, so for this eye look today, I'm going to use this palette. This is the Palette Pro Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in Get Ready With Me. So it's a bunch of neutral warm shades, which are very, very common and very liked. All right, so I'm gonna mix this shade and this shade right here. I'm gonna put that in my crease, and that is going to be the transition shade. And by the way, I did put uh, powder over the concealer that I put on my eyelids. Um, and that's gonna help set the concealer so it's not sticky and tacky, and the eyeshadow will blend over a lot better. All right, next I'm gonna grab this shade right here from the palette. I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid. All right, I'm gonna grab the darkest shade in the palette. I'm gonna deepen up the crease just a little bit. All right, so I just ran that dark shade underneath the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the crease shade. I'm just going to run that right on the edge, just gonna help blend that out just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna grab this light champagne shade. I'm gonna put this in the inner corner and the brow bone. All right, so the eyeshadow is complete and I'm going to go in with this eyeliner. Um, this is the Ink Addict Liner Pen. For mascara, I'm going to use this one. This is the High Rise Insane Length Mascara. And here's what the wand looks like if you guys are curious. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back to finish the lips. Alright, so for lips, I'm going to use this liquid lipstick. This is, this is the Matte Addiction Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Blindfold. Alright guys, so here's the end of the video. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And make sure to check out everyone down below, um, the uh, collab, Sally, and the rest of the influencers. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Deuces.